Welcome back to Monetized History. I'm Daniel, and today we'll be talking about Cuban history and the Bronze Titan. Antonio Maceo made his name during the Ten Years' War, a failed uprising against Spanish rule in Cuba. In hundreds of battles, he received dozens of wounds, earning the respect of those who served under him. Though the Ten Years' War would ultimately be unsuccessful, his reputation was such that he met directly with the enemy commander, Arsenio Martinez Campos, in a failed attempt to negotiate better terms of ceasefire. For the next 15 years, he floated around Central America and the Caribbean while the Spanish repeatedly sent assassins to kill him. He served in the armies of both Honduras and Costa Rica, honing his craft. It was in Costa Rica where he was contacted by Jose Martí, the spiritual leader of Cuban independence, to help lead another war. Maceo landed on the far east coast of Cuba in 1895 and, along with Maximo Gomez, began leading an army across the island, covering 1,000 miles in less than 100 days. As they went, they destroyed the plantations that brought wealth to the Spanish and recruited former slaves and freemen alike. The Spanish replied to these tactics by creating the first concentration camps. Governor General Valeriano Weiler, known as the Butcher, forcibly removed the rural population from their lands and relocated them into camps where they died by the thousands. Rather than pacifying the populace, they, along with the world, were galvanized against the Spanish. Maceo was killed in late 1896 when he surprised a Spanish column of soldiers. He was indispensable to the movement for Cuban independence both as a soldier and a philosopher. Today he is honored by monuments across Cuba and on current Cuban banknotes. His portrait appears on the 5 pesos note and a monument to him appears on the 5 pesos convertibles note. For his bravery and unfailing strength, he is known today as the Bronze Titan. And now for the trivia. Are you ready? On October 10th, 1868, a Cuban landowner gathered his slaves, gave them their freedom, and asked them to fight with him against the Spanish, marking the beginning of the Ten Years' War. Who was that landowner? If you think you know, let me know in the comments and I'll share the answer tomorrow. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Do you have any Cuban currency in your collection? If so, let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe.